Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. So I've been doing a lot of online shopping recently. I have some really cool pieces that I picked out and I thought I'd share them with you all to see if you like them too. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started because I have a lot of things to share with you. Also really quick, if you're new to my channel, hello, welcome. I would love it if you subscribed. I make new videos every week on a bunch of different topics and it's a lot of fun. I also have a daily vlog channel with my husband, Michael, where we do a lot of fun stuff on there and share like our daily life and what we're eating, workouts, stuff like that. So go ahead and check that out. And give this video a thumbs up if you like clothing hauls and I'll keep doing them more often because I feel like I need to step it up with my hauls. I don't do them as often as I should. So first of all, I got this sweater and I was wearing it in my last video, that drugstore makeup haul. And I also wore it on a vlog recently and I have been getting so many questions about it. So I thought I would insert it in this video. It's this really pretty kind of oversized nudie blush pink sweater. It's from Free People. And I actually picked it up at Nordstrom, but I think I think they're sold out at Nordstrom right now. But I just checked the Free People website like five minutes ago, and they have it in stock in just about every size. And it actually comes in like 13 different colors. So I really love this. I'm a true small. I buy small just about everything except coats or things that I want to be bigger. So I got this in a small, and it's just enough oversized. It kind of has a relaxed fit. I'll insert a couple pictures of me wearing it, but I really love it. It's really like warm and cozy, looks cute with jeans or leggings, and it's a really nice fit. Okay, and sticking with the blush pink, you're gonna notice a theme. I have a lot of blush pink. I've been trying to like add in little pops of it, and I think it's just really cute and like girly and feminine, and I love pairing it with like black or gray to make it a little more edgy. So I found this top online also at Nordstrom, and I just thought it was so cute. And I kind of thought it'd be cute for like New Year's Eve or Valentine's Day or just something where you want to get a little bit dressed up with like leather leggings and black pumps. I think this would be so cute. So it's by the brand Chelsea 28 and it's the Olivia Palermo collection. It was just like these little feathers on the front. I just think it's so cute. So a really nice kind of dressed up top and even be cute with like a black blazer over it too. So this top I actually picked up from Forever 21. I haven't tried it on yet, but I think it's gonna be really cute. It's a little like off the shoulder, but it also kind of has these little straps if you wanna wear those. And for some reason it reminded me of Gucci. I don't know why, but I think it's just like the green the white and the pink it kind of has like this gucci vibe or maybe like a watermelon vibe i don't know but i just think it's cute and hopefully i'll get to go somewhere warm soon michael and i really want to plan like a winter trip so if we do i'll wear this with like jean shorts or like white capris i think it'd be really cute and girly next i picked up this blush pink long sleeve shirt from asos which i really like because it looks just kind of like a simple long sleeve but when you put it on it actually has these really adorable little like ruffles on the shoulder and a cutout which i think is nice because like you're always really covered up in the winter but to show like a little bit of shoulder i just think that's pretty and feminine so i would wear this tucked into like some high-waisted gray jeans with like a really cool belt and flats or boots or anything like that but really this kind of more of like a tight fitting top so i'd wear it tucked into something so you can show off like your figure and think that'd be really pretty so moving on to jeans, I recently picked these ones up. Let me get them off the hanger. So they are by the brand Frame. They're these really light wash gray ripped skinny jeans. And I love the ankle too because it's just like a raw hem. But they're actually still a little bit too long on me. So I think I'm just going to cut them more. You guys always ask how I like cut my jeans at home. I literally just take scissors cut them, wash and dry them, and they get this like same exact look. So that's a way you can like DIY hem your jeans at home. But yeah, these are by the brand Frame. I have a lot of jeans from them and I really recommend sizing down. And normally I don't, like I do not size down in jeans, but these ones for some reason Frame always stretch out really easily. So I'd recommend sizing down, but I just really wanted a pair of super light wash gray. I think it's really pretty. These ones are really high waisted, so they kind of like suck you in and make you look really skinny and make your legs look great. So I love these and they were on super sale because normally I don't splurge on jeans too often, maybe like a couple times a year, but these were on sale for a really good price, so I had to get them. And then I picked up these jeans from Topshop, which I think are super cool. I love that embroidery trend. I just think it looks like super unique and different and this black pair of jeans can look super cool. And I kind of envision pairing these with like my Gucci loafers or just a pair of tennis shoes or black flats or like black boots, even anything really, and just a white t-shirt and really letting these be the star of the show because they're so cool. So they are the Topshop Moto Jamie jeans and they're high-waisted ankle grazers. So that's perfect for me. I love a high-waisted jean to kind of like bring everything in and ankle grazers because those actually like fit me because my legs are so short. So these jeans run really, really tight actually. They're completely opposite of frame. I've always thought that Topshop jeans 
run super small for some reason, but I just think they're so cool and unique and different. And they're usually a really good price too. They're under a hundred bucks. I think, I don't know what these are because they're in like a different language or in like pounds, but I'm pretty sure they're under a hundred dollars. Okay, so Michael was just making fun of me because he said that it was not a different language, it's a different currency. So excuse me on that. But anyways, moving on. So it's super cold here and I wanted to get some new coats, but I didn't want to spend like an outrageous amount of money on them. I just wanted some ones that I could kind of interchange between that were still really warm and they have a lot of fuzz on them. And now I feel like this fuzz is going up my nose. But anyways, this coat I've posted on Instagram a couple times and it's super cute. The brand is Moon River and I love it. It's like a teddy bear jacket and it's like this camel color. And I just think it's so cool and different. I love kind of how it has these little like, I don't know what you call it, but that I like. It's just very warm and cozy and snuggly and I like it. And it hits at about mid thigh and I have it in a small. And the next coats, believe it or not, I found on Forever 21. I feel like Forever 21 is kind of always a gamble. I don't shop there too often, but sometimes I find like good pieces there for a good price. And lately they've been like bringing in different brands, like it's not their own brand or they like stepped up their brands. I don't know, but lately I find some good things there. So this coat is really, really cute. The brand is Lush, I think. Yeah, Lush, and but it's from Forever 21. And this is so cool because it's like a gray and a white and a black kind of mixture. And what I love about it most is the pockets. It kind of has like a weird pocket placement. They're more towards the back, but then when you put it on, it kind of gives the jacket like a really cool feel when you have your hands in your pockets. So I really like it. It's also really warm and also hits at about mid thigh. I kind of like that length. I kind of like that trench coat style, but this one's definitely like more casual. I've been wearing it a lot with those frame gray jeans and just like a white t-shirt, black t-shirt and some boots and you're good to go. And you can kind of throw this on over anything. So next up, this is my favorite thing that I bought and it's like a new staple in my wardrobe. I can't stop wearing it. I've already posted it on Instagram and Snapchat and Twitter and you guys are going crazy too. And all of you are like, I'm getting it. It's so cute. And it's $30. So it is this lavender blush pink mauve bomber. I just think it's so cool. Also from Forever 21, literally $30 for this. And it's actually surprisingly really good quality. So is that gray one. They're really good quality for Forever 21. But this one, I just didn't think it would be because it was $29 or $30 or something, but it actually really is. So I just think it's super cool. I love the quilting. And also on this, I did size up. I have a lot of bomber jackets from a bunch of different companies. And usually I feel like they just run a little short. And like, I don't need to show my whole butt. So I went up to a medium in this and it's definitely a little big and a little oversized, but I like that look. I think it looks cute and like casual. So I've just been throwing this on with leggings and tennis shoes and it's great for like to and from the gym or just to the grocery store. And it's surprisingly really warm. So this is my favorite thing. I really love it. And the last coat I bought is also from Forever 21. I haven't had a chance to wear this yet because I need to like steam it a little bit, but it's a faux fur camel color. Um, it's a little bit lighter than that other camel one. It's a little bit longer too. It goes to about knee length. The brand is hot and delicious and it was $68. So yeah, the tag's still on this one because I haven't worn it. But my plan to wear this one was with just like jeans and a t-shirt, but I bought this little like faux fur stole and I thought it'd be pretty to wear on top of it, kind of like that. And it kind of gives the coat a whole different vibe and a whole different look. It really dresses it up. Um, so you could wear it with or without, but I kind of think with would be really cute. And that's kind of the vibe I had in mind when I bought it. Um, and this faux fur stole is from Soul Society. And I don't know the price because it wasn't on here, but I think this is kind of cute and like warm and cozy and would really dress up any outfit. Um, so also I bought this sweater. I don't know if I mentioned or not, but this is from Nordstrom. I thought it was really cool because of like the little cutout right there and the neck. And it also has one on the bottom of the hem, which I just thought was kind of cool and amped up a little plain gray sweater. But anyways, I wanted to get a couple new pairs of shoes. So you guys know I am obsessed with the tennis shoe trend and like the funky sneaker trend and especially Adidas and these were so cool. I had to get them. So they are just the plain superstars. And I've been wanting these for a while, like since the summer. And I just didn't know if I wanted like the plain white or the black, or I kind of liked the green and white. I thought that was cool, but I didn't get them because I was like, I don't know for sure. Like I like the style, but I haven't found the one that I love. And then they came out with these. And you guys know how big a fan I am of rose gold anything. So I had to get them and I love them. So 
on the website, on any website, they're just called gold. Um, but when you get them in person, they're definitely more like a rose gold, just to kind of let you guys know, because I know you're probably gonna comment and be like, wait, on the website it says gold, and you said they're rose gold. I'm just personally saying they're rose gold because they look good to me. And also in all the Adidas shoes that I have, I've been sizing down half a size to a six and a half of normally a seven and they fit perfect they're super comfortable and cute and i love the way they make your feet look so i'll wear these with jeans like ripped skinny jeans i'll wear them with leggings and a t-shirt and i just think they're like funky and fun and cool so I wanted to find a pair of really cute black booties and I have like a nice pair of brown ones and gray ones but I haven't found a black pair that I really loved. So I've been kind of on the hunt for a good black pair of booties. I found these ones. The brand is Treasure and Bond, I think. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Treasure and Bond. They are under $100. They have just a good, I would say maybe like a two, three inch heel, like nothing big. Something you can definitely wear in the daytime or nighttime. And they're kind of like a suede look to them. They have a little bit of a pointed toe. And they kind of have a little bit of like a distressed look on the back and on the toe, which I think is nice because you don't have to worry about making it look like that. It already looks like that. You know, you don't have to worry if like you mess it up or anything. Yeah, Treasure and Bond. So I got these in my normal size seven, super comfortable I've been wearing them with those gray jeans but I'll probably wear them with black jeans too and I just think they're pretty and then lastly I have some scarves and some hats like I said it's super cold here and so I was like how could I make just a plain coat look really cute and still look like me while being warm so I wanted to pick up some new scarves I found this one at ASOS I believe the brand is River Island and it's kind of cool and cute and different it's pink like a bunch of different tones of pink really long and it has little tassels on the end so I just think this is really feminine and pretty I love the color it's super warm it's not itchy at all which is something big I hate scarves that are like really itchy or really heavy because then I just can't stand it if it gets too heavy on my shoulders I also picked up this plain gray one this one is really big and really long and I kind of like ones that are more long like that instead of a square scarf it's easier for me to just kind of throw it on like this sometimes I'll even this is kind of usually how I wear it like this I'd wrap it around that way kind of like that that way you're kind of warm but you still have some like pieces hanging down which I think kind of elongates you and it's very warm and cozy this one isn't itchy either and then I also got this hat to match I haven't taken it out of the plastic yet so hold on so I got this little beanie to match which I think is super cute and I could put it on but I don't know let's see so if you want to be really warm and cozy and cute pick these up they kind of like go together I don't know if it's like a set but I thought they'd go together and then I got two other hats so these two hats are from Soul Society they're the exact same hat but one is pink and one is gray I thought these are really cute I see a lot of girls wearing beanies on Instagram and I always think it's like the cutest look but then for some reason I get home and I try them on and I'm like it just looks like too much I don't know so I'm gonna try to get over that and start wearing them because they're warm and they're cute and these ones are a little bit like floppy on the end so I'll try this one on but it's hard because I don't have like a mirror to see what it looks like but this is kind of how I envisioned wearing it with like big sunglasses and the scarf and the coat and it'd be a really cute look so I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and you like some of these pieces my hair is probably all messed up now but go ahead and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it subscribe if you're new and let me know down below in the comments what you thought again I will link everything so I'll talk to you guys later bye